when I listen to that song, Riding All Alone by Jelly Roll, it makes me think of my friend who's in the pen. He's, he's, in, he's in federal prison for double homicide. And uh, the person who testified against him, uh, m my feeling about it is he was a federal agent because I thought he was stalking me, but also because at one point when I was like 14 years old, his brother who was like 30 was obsessed with cocaine. Everything was cocaine. He wanted me doing coke real bad. They basically had a rave in their basement. Black lights, glowing posters, but hey, all of us had raves in our rooms back then. <laughs> it's pretty much pretty much the life you live as a 14 year old raver. I mean, I'm, I know it's crazy, still a raver. I am. Uh, saw DJ Micro back when I was 14 years old, probably with some of them feds, took some acid. Uh, who else was my favorite? Where's Paul Oakenfold nowadays? Where's Kimmel Collins? Yeah, they're, they're kind of the people that kind of started a lot of this music that's going around nowadays. It's real good. They're kind of the beginning of real good techno music. All right. I think that some people don't believe me about freedom of religion and drugs being connected, but you have to think about it, right? So them Indians down there where? Arizona, New Mexico, they take that peyote, right? Children take it too. They get in their teepee, go puke their asses off. Little kids puking from taking peyote. Grown adults puking from taking peyote. Trip their balls off. Very, very, very spiritual ceremony. My friend did it. She was white. So, that's religion. Down there in uh, Peru, people go and take that ayahuasca. It's a very strong drink. Kind of like DMT, but it's like longer lasting. And they, they use it to go get in touch with God. And what is God to a lot of people? It's kind of the earth, kind of that, that, that power, that force that makes everything the way it is. All right, so them North Koreanos. I feel like maybe Kim Jong-un hasn't been up to the task of being dear leader anymore. So now we got Kim jong Little. I, honestly, it's like, honestly, isn't it weird I don't know her name? She came around, wasn't paying attention. Kim Young Il, Kim Il Young, I, I, I swear to God. Ken Jennings! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna figure this one out. All right, so, uh, she's real pretty until she starts talking about going to war with them South Koreanos. Kinda like those people down there. You know, when I was a kid, growing up, used to be friends with a guy named Dong Young. Uh, he was from South Korea. He was from a place called Seoul. Probably the biggest metropolitan area in the world. And um, I, apparently he got in trouble for doing some drugs with me. And we were like, you know, this is back in my 14 year old days, back when my, he, he probably was best friends with this guy that did the double murder too, who's in prison. Um, and so, uh, I don't know if he was actually, I can't remember who hung out with that guy. I just know we used to hang out at the village and that's the thing about South Park. I love South Park because I was a goth at the village in in Colorado when South Park was on TV, I swear to God. Don't tell anyone. I'm faking like I'm country. Actually, to tell you the truth, I am actually country. Uh, ever, ever since I lived in Texas, I became kind of country. Ever since I found Pat Green, dedicated myself, I want to create a religion. I bet Pat Green would let me smoke weed in his church. Here's the thing. All right, so uh, I am country, but I ain't this country. But I sure think it's a lot more palatable to listen to a guy that speaks like me. That's the truth, because if, if you heard my words normally, man, I'd be mean. You think I'm mean now? <laughs> no. If I had to say it without an accent, I'd be vicious. Bless my heart. <laughs>